Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'll be talking on a unique case of adult onset foveal vitelliform dystrophy with uh, dry AMD features. So, a uh, 50 years old male uh, presented to us with chief complaint of diminution of vision in six months in the both eyes. There was no history of any trauma or any systemic illness. On examination, his best corrected visual acuity was uh, 6 by 18 in both eyes. And uh, on uh, anterior segment examination, it was normal. Whereas uh, in uh, fundus examination, uh, we can, uh, the uh, media was clear and uh, about 0.2 uh, cup to disc ratio was seen with uh, 2 by 3 AV ratio. But in the uh, macular area, uh, yellowish uh, sub uh, retinal deposit of uh, around 2 to 3 disc diameter uh, in the crescenting shape was seen along with uh, drusenoid uh, changes. So uh, on the basis of this, a differential diagnosis of best dystrophy with uh, bilateral or bilateral CMVM or, or adult onset foveal vitelliform from dystrophy was made and uh, the patient was further investigated on fundus autofluorescence. As we can see here, there was hyper autofluorescence. And uh, on OCT, uh, in the uh, various sections shows cavitation along with subretinal hyperreflective material with the drusenoid PEDs. Similar features were seen in the left eye. Uh, Octa was done in both eyes, which did not show any presence of network. So the CNVM was ruled out and then uh, electroclerogram showed the normal adherence ratio. So best disease was ruled out. So the diagnosis of adult onset foveal vitelliform dystrophy along with dry AMD features was made. So what is AOFVD? It is a rare disease affecting the macula. It was first described by GAS in 1974. Uh, basic uh, genes which are involved are PH2, BEST1, IMPG1 and IMPG2 genes. And onset is between 3rd uh, thir and 5th decade. Features are uh, about half to one third this diameter uh, sub-retinal uh, uh, yellowish uh, uh, lesion can be seen around the macula. In uh, 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 fluorescence angiography early stage, there is hyperfluorescence surrounding hyperfluorescence and the late stage similar uh, leakage uh, staining is seen. Uh, fundus autofluorescence shows uh, central hyperautofluorescence surrounded by hyperautofluorescence and OCT shows a homogeneous subretinal hyperreflectivity material below, below the RPE. So what are the differential diagnosis? First is the uh, adult onset uh, foveal differential, which is seen in around more 40, age, 40 years. And EOG is usually normal in these cases. Other uh, is the best vitelliform macular dystrophy, uh, in which is usually seen in childhood. And the EOG marker is abnormal. Other uh, uh, conditions such as autosomal recessive best retinopathy, in which EOG ma uh, markedly abnormal and uh, hyperopia is usually seen. Uh, and in CNVM, it is usually seen in above 60 and there will be leakage in fluorescence angiography and in paraneoplastic vitelliform retinopathy, ERG and EOG will be norm uh, abnormal and anti-RP bodies can be seen. So coming to the treatment, there is no usual treatment available. Uh, gene therapy is a formatting future option coming up. If CNVM develops as a complication, uh, anti vegfs can be given. So just to summarize, uh, AOFAD is a rare macular condition that usually results in slow progressive bilateral vision loss. Clinical appearance is bilateral, usually symmetrical, one third to half this diameter in size, around to oval. Age is around 30 to 50 years of age, equal sex predilection and autosomal dominance in nature. Fundus uh, angiography shows central hypo surrounding a ring of hyperfluorescence and EOG may be slightly subnormal but usually is normal in most of the cases and OCT shows a uh, hyperreflectivity below the RP. Uh, complications seen are CNVM and full thickness macular hole and in these such cases uh, six monthly uh, comprehensive eye checkup is uh, required for the patient along with family members and low vision aids can be described. Thank you.